In today's video, I'm going to share with you home decorating ideas for less. Keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today. Can you guys believe it's Sunday again? It seems like it was yesterday that we just put out a new video, but this is your reminder that there is a brand new video every Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here on my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you home decorating ideas for less. Yes, I know that we all love to do things around the house. And if you are anything like me, most likely you're doing things to your house every other day, right? Well, that's why I like to keep an eye open when I'm out shopping. So that way I can find things on discounts, whether they are at a thrift store, an antique store, and or things that I can do myself. And the other day I was at the store and I found these really cute frogs that I'm gonna be using to show you how to create a beautiful centerpiece in this video. But I wanted to remind you that if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you are notified about all of the home decorating ideas coming your way. And please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it because that really helps the channel. All right, so for our first home decorating idea, we're gonna take into the studio and I'm gonna share with you how to create a gorgeous centerpiece for your table, entryway table, or even your coffee table that is super easy and it is done on a budget. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue down our foam. And for that, I have preheated my, oh, you know what I need? I need some glue. But I have preheated my hot glue gun. You can also use a pellet if that's what you decide to use. But what I like to do is I just add some of this glue all over. And you guys know that I like to keep the package on this. So that way, um, my foam, whenever I'm done with it, it's, and it's all you stop you don't have to um how would i say um deal with it because it will break down in particles and it's just not a good look so if you keep it in the bag like this what's going to happen is well let me activate my glue gun first what's going to happen is uh, it all contain all of the foam and um it all stay in place so basically what i'm going to do is just add them like that and then press down really good all of your weight and then also what you could do is you can grab a stake like this and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drive a stake through through all of them like this and then break right there and you can do another one if you like but I think with one it'll work and that what's gonna do is gonna keep them together all right you guys so the first thing you know I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my frog and I kind of want to decide where I want it and so, uh, do I want to cut a corner? Do I want it? I think I want it straightforward, kind of sideways like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something with a point and I'm kind of going to draw where my frog is so that way I know where not to poke greeneries. So that way it's not on the way. You kind of draw a figure of, the, of your item, whether it's a candle um, so that way you know where you're not going to poke any greenery. So I'm going to put her to the side. Let's name her. I think I'm going to call her Lilith because I love that name. It's elegant and it's just cute. All right. So now I'm going to grab my wire cutters. And you guys know this, that what happens on the left happens on the right. And what goes up must come down. And so if you have not seen any of the centerpiece videos that I've done, I'm going to put some of them down below. But for this particular purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward so we can save you some time. And you know that I like to add at least three to four greenery. So I have some Monstera, some boxwood, and then also some palm. So I'm going to get to greening and I'll be right back with you to give you a next instruction. So keep watching. So for that, I have these really pretty succulents and I'm gonna just pull them all out. 
And I want it to be a little bit more summery uh, versus um, springy because spring's already on the way. So what I'm going to is I'm gonna grab a succulent right there. And then I'm going to do the same with this guy right here. I'm just gonna pull them all apart. And that's the beauty about these uh, good quality items is like, you know, you get so much bang for your buck. And I'm always telling you guys, good quality beats anything else. I'm gonna add two of those right there. And then what I'm going to is I'm gonna grab some of my flowers. I'm gonna bring my flowers in. And I want them to be all white because I wanna keep it fresh and crisp. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab one of my flowers and I'm gonna add it right here to create a set of three. Remember, I like to do sets of threes, twos, and ones. And so I'm gonna grab this other one right here. And I think this one I'm gonna put right here up high like that. And to bring it down, I'm gonna grab another one of these white flowers and I'm going to insert, I'm gonna cut shortcut right here, right here. So that gets us a set of two. And because it's going to be an all the way around centerpiece, I'm going to do a set of three right here on the back. But you know what, this one also, I want to kinda do higher because I want it to be um, a little bit more, well, I wanna say dramatic. I don't know if dramatic is a word, but you know what I mean. And so I had all of these flowers on my flower stash. And the beauty of that is that you don't have to go out and buy some more. But look at that. I just add another one right there. And I'm going to add the third one over here. Yes. So I'm gonna grab a third one and I'm going to add right here. Like this. Look how cute, you guys. She looks like she's sitting on a little forest. I have some of these really long um, leftover items. So I'm gonna add them right here to kind of encase our little frog and that was gonna give her that wild look. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so here is our centerpiece on our table. And I just love the way she turned out with all of the greenery and the white flowers. It just ties in with the rest of the tablescape. She looks so mischievous here, just waiting for the brunchers to arrive to have brunch with her. And I just wanna point out that for my napkin, I did a lime green with white and then also the lime green goblets for water or a mimosa, whatever you're up to. And I just wanna mention that if you like this DIY idea, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I cannot wait to read your comments, so let me comment down below. But I truly believe that this is something that you guys can remake. If you do not have the frog, like I said, you can use a bunny, you can also use a Kindle or any other character, but look how funny and how happy she looks right here. I really hope you enjoyed this DIY idea. Okay, everyone, so I thought I'd share with you another tablescape idea using my cute little frogs. And for this one, I did is I filled up all of these bath vases. You know I've been collecting bath vases for a while with some of the uh, dogwood flowers. These would look really beautiful with fresh flowers. And then also I brought both of the frogs, and I'm gonna go around so you guys can see both of them on both sides. They just look so cute. And I love these little guys. I think this turned out so beautiful and so whimsical. And this is something that you can do for the kids, for your guests. It is so cute. And then I just light some candles and I love the way this absolutely turned out. What do you guys think?
I really hope that you enjoyed this beautiful centerpiece DIY and that you learned a few tricks from them. Remember, there's going to be some more in the description box below in case that you're trying to learn how to create a beautiful centerpiece for your table. Keep in mind, this also can be used for your entryway table, your coffee table, or just as a centerpiece. And then also this can be done with fresh flowers if you are into fresh flowers as much as I am. All right, so now for our next segment, you guys know that I love to take you shopping. So I'm gonna take you shopping for some thrifting and antique items. And then I'm gonna share with you how I style them. So let's take a look. Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday and it is about 8.15 in the morning. I am picking up my mom and my grandma here at the border because my grandma has a doctor's appointment at today at 11. And so every time that my grandma has a doctor's appointment, my mom walks her here, I pick her up, and then I take her to her doctor's appointments. The thrift stores, Goodwill, Hobby Lobby, all the places I like to go. Well, first we're gonna go get some coffee. This is kind of what I do um, since my grandma's 92 years old and she needs assistance just driving her around. So we're gonna go get that done, then we're gonna go shopping. So stay tuned for that. You know, one of the main questions I get on my Instagram is, Ramon, how do I keep my home decorating and my interior design on a budget? How can I change the look of my rooms without having to spend a lot of money? And I always say, pillows, pillows, pillows. Let me tell you why. You can buy pillows very affordably. As you guys can see, I found some at the thrift store. They were brand new. And then also I was at, at home the other day and they have a great selection of beautiful pillows that are super affordable. So that's why I always say you can change the color, the texture. You can change a lot about your room, the whole feel with just a coat of paint on an accent wall and then also with some beautiful pillows. So now I'm gonna share with you these home decorating ideas. They are on a budget, they are for less with pillows. Let's take a look. Okay, so we are now in the living room and I wanna share with you my new find at, at home. You guys, at, at home they have a great selection of pillows. I wanna say pillow covers actually because the pillow insert that comes with it, it's really, very affordable, let's put it that way. But here's a trick I wanna give you. First of all, we need to get rid of all of these tags and you can just gently pull on them. And when you do that, be sure to squish where the tag is so that way it doesn't rip your pillow. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and get those out because, well, they're not very sightly. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to open this pillow and we're gonna take that insert out because like I said, I'm gonna sh share with you the difference. Look how skinny this is compared to a more expensive one. This is from Ikea actually, and they're actually not expensive. They're about $8 each. So you get more of um, the filler for it because this one is very, well, empty, let's put it that way. So to upgrade those at home pillow covers, all you have to do is get yourself a Ikea pillow and be sure to squish it in and I'm going to insert this guy right here into my pillow and it will dress up this beautiful, beautiful pillow from at home. And they have this particular pillow in a selection of colors. They have yellow, they have blue, they have green, they have orange, they have all the colors. So I went back and bought some more for the chairs that I have in front of me. You guys will see that on the home tour coming soon. And all of this, I wanna remind you, I am working on towards a home tour for spring. You know, we usually do a home tour for um, the holidays, for Christmas, but this year I decided that I'm going to do a makeover for spring, I'm going to do a makeover for summer, I'm going to do a makeover for fall, and then of course we'll do our Christmas holiday home tour. But that is to give you ideas on how you can 
decorate all throughout the year without having to spend a lot of money. And I do want to point out, sometimes you have to uh, invest in some pillows like this right here, we're only about $16. And I bought four of them because I want one right here, two on the ch chairs in front of me. And then um, I want another one in an accent. And look at the difference, you guys. You have a fuller pillow. All you have to do is fluff it. And this guy's going to go right here. Now I'm gonna disappear for a second because I want to bring the other one. Look how this one, it's so, f it's so flimsy looking. So if you were to sit down, it's just gonna squish down like this. This one, if you sit down on it, it's gonna hold this shape better and it's going to bounce back better. So that's why you want to invest yourself in some really good pillow inserts. Now I do want to give my mom a shout out for making these amazing bolster pillows that you will also see in the bedroom. I'll show you the difference between both sides. But the reason that I have her do two sides is because I can also swap those colors as you guys can see, it really changes the look versus having the green on this side. And I just wanna say thanks to my mom. Thanks mom for sewing those for me. And for the summer one, I purchased some absolutely gorgeous uh, pillows that are also dual sided that I will explain more when that happens. But look how just by having that dual side and then you put this accent pillow right here, it totally changes the look of your sofa and it just looks fresh and more beautiful. All right, so now I also wanna to touch on this right here. You guys know that I love to collect decorations. So I have collections right here on my coffee table. I have a beautiful collection of pill boxes. I collect pill boxes. If you know me, you know I adore pill boxes. And sometimes they have, um, you know, a little secret. Like this one holds my little table um, salt spoons. So I put it right here. But I just wanted to share right here that I gather all of my blue and white in this beautiful table. And it just looks like a collection. It looks very elegant and I just love it. I am looking for a table that is more like a natural oak look because when you put all of this blue and white and a natural uh, color wood, it will pop from the wood versus the black, which actually pulls a lot of the blue. So the blue will really stand out when I find that table. All right, you guys, well, now I'm going to share with you how I transform a guest room, a guest bedroom using pillows. So let's go into the guest bedroom. All right, everyone, so we are now in our guest room and this is where you would stay if you wanted to come and stay in our house. And as you can see, I like to keep the room very neutral. And these beautiful accent pillows are from Ikea. The shams were about, I wanna say about $9.99 each. And I like to keep everything as white and you know I love blue and white, so just a touch of blue in my guest room that goes all the way to our picture up here above the headboard. Now what I wanted to share with you real quick is this awesome pillow that I found at a local boutique store here in San Diego. And the reason why I like it is because it's long. This is about three feet long. And um, what I like about it is because it gives you a linear perspective on your bed and then also it kind of helps to cover most of the room right here. And I love the color because it matches with our accent tables right here and our lamps for our guests and it just brings another color and texture. I love the pattern in it. It's kind of like a Mayan Greek key. And I just love the way this looks. Like I said, it helps pull in all of that wood tone over into the bed. And I love the way it feels in the bed. So this is option number one, getting yourself a longer bolster pillow. But if a longer bolster pillow is not your thing, I do want you to see these blue and white pillows that I found, as you can see, at a local thrift store. They are brand new, you guys. They had the tags on them and they cost me only $2.99 a piece. So $3 a piece. These are considered bolster pillows. Not bolster pillow, but it's more like a lumbar pillow. And so for $3 a piece, look what this does. You put one right here and it has one for each person if they wanted to put on their 
lumbar as they are sleeping in the bed, if they're sitting up reading a book or something. And I love the play of the blue and white right here. I love the way that it goes all the way to the picture. It has a variation of blue and white. And my favorite thing right here is the welt. It's a contrasting welt that goes perfect with a room. But I wanted to share what it looks like if I put another bolster pillow in front of it in this beautiful blue. It just has a different pattern and it really helps me to create a lot of interest and contrast. And for this, I would like to get them a little bit closer like this. So it looks like one longer, like the one that I just showed you. Look how pretty this is with a well to the matches the pattern right here. But my favorite thing to do is to add a contrasting pattern and color. And you know we're doing uh, green and white and blue and white for spring this year. So this is the one that I like the best. I love the way this looks. It gives me that pop of green that I need to be cohesive with the entire house. And I know that my guests are going to like it. So to recap real quick, just keep it as neutral as possible. Bring in some pattern with this contrasting color right here and pop in a contrasting color and pattern and you got yourself a beautiful bedding that I think it looks great. What do you think? If you know me, you know that I love antique shopping and thrift shopping because you can always find some really good deals, as you guys can see, like the pillows I just shared with you. And then also, I wanna take a second to shout out my mom for helping me with the pillows. She always does a great job when I ask her to do something for me. So thank you, mom, for sewing these pillows for me. The room is looking absolutely beautiful, thanks to you. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna take you back into the stores, this time a consignment shop here in San Diego, California, where I get some of my best home decorating ideas, and I really hope that you enjoy it. If you are enjoying the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also don't forget to share it with your friends so they know about all of the home decorating ideas here on this channel. Let's take a look. Hello, we are back in the car because we're headed out shopping, you guys. Today is Saturday around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just got done doing a live. Remember, we have a live every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But right now, we're going to go to one of my favorite places here in San Diego, and it's called Consignment Shop. I love a consignment shop because they usually have a variety of beautiful furniture, accessories, stemware, flatware, dishes. So we're gonna head over there. It is kind of a long drive. It's about, I wanna say probably about 30 minute drive to get to the consignment shop, but it is so worth it. Stay tuned, I'm gonna share with you what this looks like and I really hope to find something fun. As soon as you walk into this place, there is just furniture and accessories everywhere. And one of my best home decorating tips that I can give you is, especially if you are decorating on a budget, is to go to consignment stores and to thrift stores because you can always find very gently used decorating items and furniture for very affordable. This place, consignment, I think the name of it is Consignment Classics, if I don't remember wrong. It is gem-packed of area rugs, of artwork, of furniture, and let me tell you, they are just so affordable, and I'm always getting a kick out of all of the things that there is. I cannot believe some of these things people pitch, but you know what they said? Somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure, right? Look at these beautiful chairs, you guys. I really wish I had space for them. They were just so beautiful, but my favorite piece has to be this rattan sofa and these queen end chairs that were so comfortable but once again i just did not have any space for them if i had a bigger house i would have bought them let me tell you the selection of artwork is just absolutely outstanding and i had so much fun shopping at this place and i really hope that you are enjoying this video all right you guys so i thought i shared with you this amazing find i just had at a thrift store these i paid 3.99 they are really tarnished and I just love the shape and all of the little detail. Look at that, it needs to be clean, so I'm gonna get doing that. But I just love it because this is something that you can use to put knots on 
or strawberries or berries when you're serving. They're more like serving dishes. You can also do sugar, which is intended for. Now this one is intended for creamer, but that also can be used for a little floral arrangement on you, um, but perhaps your bedside. But we just have to think outside the box and look how absolutely beautiful these are. They are, like I said, super tarnished. So I'm gonna go wash them and clean them and I'm gonna share with you what they look like all clean. So stay tuned. And check this out. Look how absolutely gorgeous this turned out. I am obsessed, you guys. Look how pretty this is. The little detail of the vine going all the way around. And then how clean it is inside. So I cannot wait to put that on my coffee table and perhaps do some nuts or some M&Ms. Um, for when visitors come, it is perfect. And this little guy right here is so beautiful. Look at the little flower right here, you guys for two dollars and a little bit of elbow grease so this i'm gonna use maybe to put on a powder room with a little floral arrangement on it it can be used as intended to serve sugar and creamer but we have to think outside the box uh, so that way that we can get most bang for our buck even though that for four dollars i could not have a better set and i am so in love with it all right let's get back to the video okay so i just want to share with you real quick this polish containers that I just shared with you. I love the way they look right here on my coffee table. It just adds some character. Uh, I'm gonna add some flowers to the little one and then some, uh, I think some M&Ms or some kind of peanuts to the other one. And they just serve as a conversation piece here on your coffee table. I wanna tell you the story about this little box right here belonged to my grandmother. When I was a kid, she had a clothing boutique and this is where she would put the money. And so one day we were cleaning her house and I found that, that that's been like 30 years. And I asked her if I could have it and she said yes. So I just put this on top of that little box and it reminds me of my childhood and it reminds me of the love I have for silver and all things antiques. I love the way this looks right here on my coffee table and I hope you like it too.